here you are. You haven't been waiting for me for an hour, have you? No, of course not. I've been reading this book. It's very interesting. And I used the time to move the sundial to the left. Shouldn't that have been the right? Ah, uh, maybe. Anyway, what's, what's happened to you? You smell horrible. I, I tried to um, stop tricks from um, not rolling in something disgusting in the undergrowth. Well, not very successfully. It smells as if you joined her. Ooh, just because you've made an effort for a change. Well, look at you. Well, God doesn't mind. And, and people watch in their dressing gowns. They are not in front of the camera. Okay, then. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hopefully she won't be too long. Anyway, good morning. I'm Sean. And I'm Mika. We have the pleasure to lead today's service. Ify will lead us in worship today, introducing us to the songs she has chosen and telling us how they have spoken to her. And Keith will talk about God's justice and help us to understand 2 Kings chapter 9 verses 1 to 29. Let us start by joining in the ancient praise of all God's people in the words of Psalm 139. You have searched me Lord and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. You hem me in, behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even, even there, there your, your hand, hand will guide, guide me. me. Your, Your right, right hand, hand will hold me fast. Thank you, Lord, that wherever I go, you're already there. Thank you that you hold us fast. Fill us with your spirit so that we become acutely aware of your touch on our lives and your will for our future. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Ify. So now it's over to you to introduce our first song. Hello, my name is Ify. The songs I've chosen today are beautiful because of their words and their uh, music. Over the last few months, I feel they have particularly spoken to me whilst I have walked with the Lord. And I have decided to share some of the insights I received today. Firstly, what does, the, what does God want from us when we come to worship him? Well, the Bible tells us. In Psalm 24, verses 3 to 4, it says, Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false. From this, I get a sense that God wants us to be in a place of holiness when we come to worship him. So let's try that now. Um, I'd like you to bring to mind all that has happened in the last week, all that you've said um, or done or didn't say or didn't do that perhaps brought you further away from God rather than closer to God. I just want you to bring those things and lay them at the foot of the cross. In addition, I would like you to imagine yourself as a newborn baby, innocent and carefree, being held in the arms of their father and looking up to the Lord 
in expectation. What do we mean by worship? Well, the Oxford English Dictionary says that worship is a feeling or an experience of awe and reverence towards a deity. I know that when I first heard this song, I definitely felt a sense of God's presence and I just wanted to remain in that presence whilst the song was playing. So, whatever position that is comfortable for you, I just like you to take up that position right now, whether it's standing or sitting, kneeling or lying down, arms up or arms down, eyes open or eyes closed. Just enjoy being in God's presence as you enjoy the song. <laughs> 